Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have something a little bit different for you. Uh, it is sort of cross stitch related. It, we're going to look at a cross stitch example, uh, but it could not be. It, you know, it could apply to other interests you have or really anything you're interested in. Um, what I'm going to show you is how you can access current and usually past issues of magazines using your handy free library card. So uh, now I will sort of caveat this in that uh, I am in the US so I'm going to be looking at a US based library system and the other systems that I checked I checked three others. Uh, they are all in the U.S. as well. I don't know about international library systems as much. I know uh, a lot of international libraries tend to have fairly similar services, so by all means this may be applicable and you may find uh, that your library offers these options as well. And even if you are in the U.S. and your library doesn't offer this, I highly recommend just going and talking to them and asking if that's a service they could provide. Most libraries are pretty accommodating if they see that there's a need or some, uh, some interest in a service that it's worth some of their funding to invest in. So uh, anyways, with that said, what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, do a walkthrough of how to access the app using your computer and how to find the magazines. We're going to look, as I mentioned, we're going to look at a cross stitch example or one or two, how to browse the magazine and how to save uh, a pattern if you find one you really like, which there's a bunch of them. And fair warning, this could be trouble. Uh, this this can be a bit of a black hole where, you know, sort of like Pinterest where you get going and you just, the next thing you know, two or three hours has passed and you're like, what, what happened? I was just flicking through some magazines. So anyways, I hope it's really interesting I, and maybe save you a little money. Um, you know, I, I, it's not that I don't think subscribing to the magazines is great, but I'm also a big proponent of supporting the libraries and if it's a service they offer and you can access it, you know, for free, why not? Saves up the money that, you know, you can go buy the, all the bits to do a pattern. All right, so anyways, let's get stuck into it. So the first thing that you'll need to do is navigate your browser to your library system. And from there, you'll want to look at the menus that are available. And you're going to look for one that says online library or e-media or something to that effect. And in that menu, you want to choose the magazines and newspapers option. And from there, you're going to look for an application called Press Reader, which we see right here. And it'll ask you to log in. Now, you'll use your library login details. So usually that's your library card number and the PIN that you were assigned. However, uh, some libraries I know uh, allow you to create your own login details. So whatever you use to, you know, access eBooks or um, your account online is what you'll enter here. And then once that loads, you'll come to a new window. We're just gonna get rid of all that stuff. Uh, that is the press reader application. So from here, first of all, I wanted to point out that this is a mix of newspapers and magazines, and it is 
from, it has content from all different countries. So if you have a particular country that you're interested in or want to find a story on, um, by all means, you can browse by that. We're going to browse by categories. And again, for any interest that you may have, you can get stuck right into all sorts. We're going to choose crafts and hobbies today. And then here you can see that there are several magazines for all sorts of hobbies, whatever you can possibly imagine, I feel like. Uh, and for our purposes today, I just want to point out, we have the world of cross stitching, crazy, cross stitch crazy. I always read that back to front. Cross stitch gold, which I actually really like this one. Uh, cross stitcher, which I know is very popular and just cross stitch. And then I was in here the other day and I noticed that they also had, if I scroll down here a bit further, uh, a Christmas special for just cross stitch. So if you're interested in Christmas ornaments and such, uh, check that out. So let's go ahead and choose cross stitch gold today to have a look at. You just click on, on it and it'll pull the magazine right up digitally. And from here, I want to first point out that from this drop down up the top, uh, you can browse the issue date that you would like to look at by using the calendar, or I actually prefer this little uh, list option. And they have back issues going right back to 2015. So as you can see, if you don't keep up on these, they, they can take quite a while, especially with as many different ones as there are. Uh, but lots of stuff to look at and you know it's always nice to know that it's it's there you don't have to necessarily dig in and save them all straight off the bat um, and then you just use the the arrows to navigate and you can look at these and if you click on the page it zooms it up and click on it again and it takes you back out to page view and yeah, you can just browse right through. So if you wanted to save a pattern, what you can do, so let's save this walk in, in the park. It's a sweet little picture. Uh, you just, you can click on these little dots down here, or if you cancel that, you can just right click and it'll do the same thing. And then in the, preview here, you can see these little boxes. You just click them and then very carefully scroll. If you click off of this window at all, even if you are holding down your cursor and you slide off of it, it'll disappear. So just carefully slide and then select all of the pages that the pattern appears on. I think that was all of them. And from there, you can hit print. And in this case, these are all full page portions. So we'll go ahead and go print page. And then from there, we'll hit print. And then from here, I want to point out that it will put these watermarks in it. Just that's sort of a, a copyright issue. Uh, so hopefully they they don't impact the pattern too much. I, I don't tend to have a problem with it, but uh, if you think you might, then this might be just an option to look at the magazine and find out if it's worth going and finding somewhere at a, a store. Uh, anyways, you can, from here, you can save as a PDF or print to your printer. I usually just save it to as a PDF until I'm ready to do something with it. Or even, I know a lot of people uh, use their tablets anymore to look at the patterns. You can zoom in and do the whole thing on your tablet. So if that's something you prefer, a PDF is perfect. And then you just save and you can 
browse to wherever you want to save that. So that's how you save full pictures. Now, say for instance, we just wanted to save this ad here uh, so that we could refer back to these new tropical color world fabrics. I didn't actually know they made these, but very clever. Uh, so again, you just right click and you go print. But in this instance, we're going to choose custom print area. And it shows, it throws up this little handy box and you just move, move the corners to the section that you want. And then up here in the right, you'll click on print. And you'll see that it just comes up with the, the portion uh, that we selected. And again, hit print and it'll come up with the same options as you had before. But that way you can save like an ad if there's something that you want to look at another time. And then if you want to go back, you just click the back button and it'll take you right back here and you can choose a different magazine. So that's how you can access all of these magazines or newspapers for just about anything you might be interested in. Uh, and it doesn't cost you a penny. And like I said, it, it can also help you, you know, weed out maybe instead of getting a subscription for a whole year, maybe you just want to have a browse through it and go and choose the the issues that you want to go and find at the store to have uh, and save yourself a little money that way even. Uh, so that's how you can use your library card to access hundreds of magazines and newspapers for cross stitching or any other interest you may have. I hope you found that helpful and hopefully you can find some really cool stuff that you maybe wouldn't have come across otherwise. And by all means, as always, throw your comments or questions down below and I'll do my best to respond as soon as I can. And good luck, happy browsing!